what is going on guys brown here welcome back to the williams rtg road to glory career mode here today round four takes us to the british grand prix my home grand prix at silverson and also as time recording the most recent race in the 2021 season our first run was awful and our second run sebastian vettel just decided to overtake us whilst we were trying to do our qualifying lap i'm not quick round silverston i don't claim to be and we forgot to even turn the ers mode up that's why we were so slow on that opening lap but we're backed off qualifying the boring part let's get into the race We return once again then to the home of British motorsport and the birthplace of the Formula One World Championship. It's race day here at Silverstone and it's time for the British Grand Prix. The 3.6 mile long Silverstone circuit is one of the longest of the season with 18 corners in the current layout. With average lap speeds reaching around 145 miles per hour, it's also one of the quickest tracks of the year. Watch out for cars taking the right-handers of Abbey and Cops flat out. Alongside me to discuss all the action today is Anthony Davidson. And thanks for joining us, Ant. And tell me, you were down in the pit lane earlier. How do you think the track conditions are today? Well, the surface looks clean enough, but I'm a little bit worried about the track temperature. It's pretty cool out there, which could give some teams difficulties when it comes to keeping their tyres in the right operating window. The cars out there that work their tyres hard and really put a lot of energy through them, they'll be the ones that are better off. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Ricardo, Norris, Valtteri Bottas, and Gasly, Vettel, Perez, Sainz, and Charles Leclerc, Sonoda, Stroll, Esteban Ocon, and Giovinazzi. Mick Schumacher, Mazepin, George Russell, and Kimi Raikkonen. Brown and Fernando Alonso rounds off the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. So the strategy then, pretty simple one stop from the softs onto the medium compound tire. It's, it's cloudy, it's quite cool, complete opposite to real life. As there's three, there's four, there's five red lights. And the British Grand Prix is underway in 2021. It's a good start by the two McLarens. Look at Lando Norris trying to go round the inside of the Red Bull. And Mercedes into turn one. The Mercedes just keeps ahead as Lewis Hamilton. We gain a couple of places. We went off the track and we're going to absolutely send it down the inside into turn one. We forced the Aston Martin wide because I thought it was Vettel and I was still annoyed from Quali. Turns out it was Stroll. So that made it a bit awkward on the opening lap. There's, there's the C Ferrari side by side. Yuki Sonoda trying to have a look at Yuki. Right through Luffield then where I sat for the Bridge Grand Prix. Here comes Esther Van Ocon. Ocon in his Alpine. You wouldn't expect him to be that far down as down the inside he tries to go. We go off the track to avoid we choose life. Over uh, getting put in the barrier like Max Verstappen. Through Maggots and Beckett's and into Chapel now. And Esther Van o oh, Ocon's lost out. Somewhere to Lance Stroll. The Lance Stroll breezes past us. I don't look at Esther Van Ocon. Lance Stroll. Has he got us down the inside? Looks like he has. We're going to try and hold around the outside at Stow. But we're going to... We've lost out. We're going to... Uh, the large stroll has got us. Or as we can see it, me, there. We're down the inside, round the outside. Of Vale. And we're back up past... Past large stroll. But Ocon's not done with us there. Side by side and through Abbey. And Ocon looks to have got us. This is a massive train behind, but we've managed to keep it. There goes Giovinazzi down our inside. Stroll and Ocon have got away as we are in P14. 
And this is going to be the story of our race. I've never been quick round Silverstone. It's so annoying because it's my home Grand Prix and it's one of my favourite tracks. So there go the two Haas boys side by side. Mick Schumacher is absolutely done Mazepin at the inside. Free left field and there's someone coming slow. What's happened there? As Antonio Giovinazzi's had a moment. Not sure what's happened there side by side. They go through. Through cops. Here comes Mick Schumacher on us. Now we can't be overtaken by a Haas. I'm slow around Silverson, but are we ready? That slow is Mick Schumacher. Tries to do what Verstappen did to Nico Rosberg round the outside. We're side by side now. Down the hangar straight. This is all completely uncut from when the lights went out. This is that much action in the opening two laps. We forward Mick Schumacher wide. Side by side now behind. Kimi Raikkonen has got past Fernando Alonso for some battles they had in the past. But it's the two, the two Haas boys are not giving up. Mick Schumacher still ahead of things. Alonso on his um, on Raikkonen again in the background. And now the yellow flags going into Brooklyn's. We've gone a little bit wide. And that's Daniel Ricciardo. Daniel Ricciardo's off the track and he's sat at the apex of Luffield having a cup of tea. What has he done there? What has happened to the honey badger, Danny Rick? What's he done there? And after it looked like he got a pretty good start, there he is behind his teammates and he's lit up the rear tyres and lost it down at Brooklyn's. And then he's just sat there. We'll have another look at the onboard in just a second. Here it is. Into turn one. Clip. It clips Brooklyn's, the apex of Brooklyn's. Lights up the rear tyres. And that is his race in the bin. But can he recover? That's very, very similar to what Yuki Tsunoda did back in Bahrain at turn one. If you remember that when he was in, sitting in third. When those were still out to pit. As there goes Mazepin down our inside. I'm not liking this. Three maggots and Beckett's. Mazepin all over the back of us. And there goes Gimme Raikkonen. Raikkonen's done him round the outside of Chapel. Fair play, Gimme. Mazepin's not giving up, but I'd watch out, Gimme. Because he's going to try and wipe you out. Round the outside goes Gimme Raikkonen. Back to Stowe. And now Raikkonen gets our out outside. Going into the Vale chicane. We try and force him wide. Raikkonen has the inside line for the second part. And we're forcing right to the apex. And Mazepin now has can go back around the outside. He's in the background. There's Antonio Giovinazzi having a go at George Russell. Through now Abbey and Farm. Now in, we would go into village with cut though. And we are now coming out to Luffield. Here comes Gibby Raikkonen. Down inside he's got a great launch off of Luffield. Through Woodcut we went. And now, Kimi Raikkonen has got us into cops. I tried to brave around the outside, but I don't want to end up in the wall. And I've been struggling anyway through there. As there goes the two horses. And we are going to be absolutely mugged here. Both of the horses, either side of us. And there's the Alpine as well. We've lost out to Mick Schumacher. We've managed to just about stay ahead of Mazepin. But down the hangar straight. They were coming at me left, right and centre. It's now there it goes. That's, that's Fernando Alonso. Around the outside. Of, of Nikita Mazepin at Cops. What a move by the Spaniard. And now he's having a go at us. Just like he did in Canada. That great battle we had. And there's Ming Schumacher. Ming Schumacher's engine is blown. The Ferrari engine in the back of the house has gone bang just when he started to stretch his legs a little bit. Mick Schumacher's race is quite literally ended in a bang as his engine has blown. And now we skip on and Giovinazzi now is all over the back of us as we've lost out. And Giovinazzi just breezed past there hasn't he? So it's Daniel Ricciardo. And this is not fun for us now. It's, we're being... This is this is rape. Actual rape. We've got no chance here. I'm so slow around Silverstone. 
and we just got no pace and there's Ricardo getting two places getting Giovinazzi as well we were just hanging on for dear life at this point as here comes Nikita Mazepin through Abbey we go we've gone a bit wide through farm Mazepin's gonna go down our inside into village we tried to cut him back but George George had gone to the inside of us and the two Williams collide we collide with our teammate Antonio Giovinazzi's pulled off there as well and it's been four rounds and that wasn't even a battle George showed saw his opportunity which is fair enough but we've hit him the two Williams and we've collided with our teammate George Russell look at that George I did leave the door open but I should have saw him that's my fault George had he had he had the right to send it down the inside I tried just tried to be a bit too clever with Mazepin but yeah that's that's my fault as and as Giovinazzi's out as well he wasn't caught up in the incident you can see in the replay there but he had some kind of issue which took him out of the ground pre and then kind of just ended up being slap bang in the middle of of the clash between me and George and you can just you can just hear Giovinazzi's Ferrari engine that's two Ferrari engines though going bang here at Silverstone apart from the works team so far this is George Russell catching the back of us now so he didn't have any damage after the incident um not being aggressive I didn't mean to take him out it was just a bit as here he goes to the inside the crowd roars as his British driver the British driver and George gets the job done on us and we are now in last place only ahead of those retired obviously that's why we're in last place but here we go skipping on into the pits I pitted the tyres just hit the cliff I had no grip and we were just losing so much time to George in front so we're going to come in make our one and only stop onto the set of mediums and we'll see where it gets us Come, if we can't get in back into the race, great. Otherwise, I think we. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, we can catch. But I haven't got much hope because we've been struggling so much this race. And you can see there the gap up front. Okay, we have an issue with the control electronics box. That's going to do additional damage to all other power unit components. So, Jeff same have an issue as well that may have been hurting us as well. You can see there the control electronics system. Like Jeff said, that damages all other components. You can see there it's on 76%. So it's pretty much gone. And that I believe also affects your gear shifting but coming around stow I decided that this was just stupid lap 14 damage to the control electronics and we're just going around at the back we're not catching anyone we're nowhere near anyone we're just going further and further behind we're in last place so what was the point of continuing on we were just damaging other components as well because of the control electronics so we are going to pit here to, to take our first DNF of the season hopefully it's the one and only as you can see there selecting and we are out of the British Grand Prix plenty of action here at Silverstone it was a memorable race and what an impressive victory what do you think it was, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition today? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes.
So Lewis Hamilton takes his eighth British Grand Prix win, um, just like he did last weekend at Silverstone. Valtteri Bottas comes home from P2, and Lando Norris gets picked up his first podium of the season. And what a place to do it as well at Silverstone. The crowd cheering him on. You can see there, the, the, there was no point us continuing on. We were just driving around and it was quite a decision. When I was recording it, quite a big decision. You can see there the driver's standings. Um, currently sitting in P14, obviously from those points we got in Monaco. And that's helping if it isn't in the constructors as well. As Alfa Romeo and Haas are still yet to score. But we're not that far off of Alpine. You, and now back into the paddock you can see here. Just changing that straight away. Hopefully it's now the summer break. Till Belgium. So in terms of the uploads. I'm going to be starting the my team now. Just so. Because I've put kind of the same races together. I didn't want it to be. You watch Bahrain, Bahrain. I wanted to mix it up a little bit. So we'll see what we can do in my team. That will be most likely be the next video after this one. But back to this, you can see the R and D. We're going to be looking more on the durability side going into the races ahead. But if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe if you want to. And I will see you in the next one and after summer break in Belgium.